Welcome to the Bluecoat Proxy SG First Steps video tutorial. This tutorial describes how to control HTTPS traffic to secure client to server communication. The steps for controlling HTTPS traffic include the following Make sure your Proxy SG is set up properly for SSL. Create an issuer key ring that uses either a self signed or CA signed certificate for SSL decryption. Configure the appropriate service for your deployment, either explicit or transparent proxy. Configure policy for the SSL proxy. And verify SSL traffic interception. Verify the following before you begin setting up the SSL proxy to intercept traffic. Verify your proxy SG appliance is functional and can permit a proxied user to access Internet resources. Determine whether your domain uses certificate signing services. This helps you decide whether they'll be following the self-signed or CA-signed certificate process. If using a CA-signed certificate, have access to your certificate signing authority for your domain. Determine whether you are in a transparent or explicit setup. And verify the proxy SG is configured with a basic license and an SSL license. To do this, go to Maintenance, Licensing, View, Licensed Components and verify that both SGOS 6 Proxy Edition and SSL are valid. For the Proxy SG appliance to decrypt SSL traffic, a key ring must be created. Key rings are containers for SSL certificates on the appliance and can be used to manage self-signed or CA-signed certificates. To create a key ring, Select Configuration, SSL, Key Rings, Create. For Key Ring Name, enter a descriptive name for the key ring. For the private key visibility, choose Show Key Pair to allow the key pair to be viewed and exported, or choose Do Not Show Key Pair to hide the private key. Leave the key size at 2048 bits. Click OK and apply to save your changes. Create a self-signed certificate if you don't want to use the default certificate. If you do use the default, you can skip this step. In the Key Rings tab, edit the newly created key ring. Under Certificate, click Create. Fill in the certificate details. The common name must match the proxy SG name or IP address that the client expects. Click OK and then Close. Now, for the key ring you created, Yes appears in the Certificate column, indicating a certificate is part of the key ring. Apply your changes. If you are using a self-signed certificate, you can skip this step and go directly to the step that specifies the key ring to be used by the SSL proxy. If you are using a certificate authority to sign your certificate, you need to generate a CA signed certificate for your SSL interception key ring. The following steps use Microsoft PKI Server as an example. Where necessary, refer to your server administration documentation for steps specific to your environment. First, select Configuration, General, Clock to confirm the correct time configuration and NTP settings. Because SSL certificates include a date and time component, you can avoid a problems by configuring an NTP server. To create a certificate signing request, create a key ring as shown previously. Select the key ring and click Edit. Under Certificate Signing Request, click Create. Fill in the fields as appropriate.
set the common name to the single host name, resolvable via DNS, of the proxy SG. Click OK, then Close, then Apply. Now edit the key ring. Data now appears in the certificate signing request. Copy this text to the clipboard, including the begin and end text. Save it in a file. And click Close. The next step is to request and receive a certificate. The steps needed to do this are specific to each individual environment. Microsoft PKI services require that the user account is a domain administrator. Consult the First Steps web guide for more details. To install the certificate, complete the following steps on the Proxy SG. And in the Management Console, select Configuration SSL Keyrings. Select the keyring created previously and click Edit. Select Certificate Import. Paste in the two Base64 certificates you downloaded previously, then click OK, Close, and Apply to save your changes. The Proxy SG will present the full certificate chain to users when they receive HTTPS content that has been intercepted by the Proxy SG appliance. The new certificates are now browser trusted. Go to Configuration, Proxy Settings, SSL Proxy. Set Issuer Keyring to the new keyring. The SSL proxy now uses this keyring. In an explicit deployment, you need to intercept the explicit HTTP service and make sure it has Detect Protocol enabled. In a transparent deployment, you need to intercept the HTTPS service and make sure it has Detect Protocol enabled. The default proxy policy supersedes all other policy. It is set by default to deny. Typically, you will switch this to Allow, then define Denials through Policy with a Last Deny Policy as a catch-all. SSL interception and access rules, including server certificate validation, are configured through policy, either created in the Visual Policy Manager, VPM, or written in Content Policy Language, or CPL. In the VPM, use the SSL intercept layer to configure SSL interception. To install a basic HTTPS interception policy, in the Visual Policy Manager, select Policy, Add SSL Intercept Layer, click OK. Right-click in the New Rules Action column and select Set, New, Enable SSL Interception. In the Add Enable SSL Interception object window, verify that Enable HTTPS Interception is selected Check the issuer keyring. From the drop down menu, select the SSL keyring you created for SSL interception. Click OK and then OK again and install the policy. There are several ways to verify the operation of the SSL proxy. On the proxy SG, go to Statistics Active Sessions and verify that the HTTPS forward proxy is listed. And go to Statistics Traffic Details, click Proxy, and view the HTTPS forward proxy traffic details. Visit the Blue Coat Proxy SG First Steps web guide available at Blue Touch Online to learn more about the most effective ways of deploying and using a Proxy SG appliance to secure your network. For comments or suggestions about this video tutorial, contact us at training.books at bluecoat.com.